Hey guys, welcome to video number one of my video a day for the month of April. I was gonna make the first video my chocolate Easter egg recipe video, but I decided to make that tomorrow's and make today's five easy things that you can do today to start living a healthy lifestyle. Reason being, a lot of the videos coming up this month are me in the kitchen cooking healthy recipes, me talking about health, and all to do pretty much with living a healthy lifestyle and how to transition into a healthy lifestyle. So, to start us off, here are my five things that you can do today to transition into a healthy lifestyle. The number one question I get asked on Snapchat or in my emails or on my Instagram is, how do you start? How do you start living a healthy lifestyle? There's so much information out there. There's so many different diets and tips and tricks and things like that, that it can be so overwhelming to know just how to start. I've really taken the time to look back and think about what are the fundamental things that you have to get right first before you even think about moving into a healthy lifestyle. So here they are. Number one, is living a healthy lifestyle even a value of yours? So many people say, oh, I want to live a healthy lifestyle or I want to do it or I should do it or I tried doing it. All of those things, want, should and try, just show you that it's really not a value of yours. Let me give you an example. If you are one of those people who say, I should, I want, or I try, but then you go out on the weekend and continue to drink alcohol, or you go and get a Big Mac or something like that because it's easier, I'm telling you now, it's not a value of yours. And that's okay, it doesn't have to be a value of yours. For most people, it's not. But if you are wanting to make a change, you need to work out, okay, so what are my values? If my values are to be a successful entrepreneur, let's say, then how am I gonna complete a 14 hour day working on my business? How am I gonna get the energy and the sustenance to complete a 14 hour day? I'm telling you now that you cannot sustain living on coffee and Red Bull if you wanna keep working 14 hour days and run a successful business. You need more than that. You need to look at the people who are living a healthy lifestyle and what are they doing? What results are they achieving? If your value is business and working 14 hour days to earn money and be successful, you need to have the energy and the sustenance to complete those 14 hour days. So that brings us back to health. You need to be feeding and fueling your body with the right fruits and vegetables and exercising to have that amount of sustenance and have the energy to complete these 14 hour days. So can you see what I mean by connecting the dots? Alternatively, let's say you have a family and a value of yours is your family and you wanna be there for your grandchildren, so you want longevity. You wanna be healthy and you wanna be able to run around with your children and their children. So what's gonna fuel you to be able to live a healthy lifestyle and be alive for your grandchildren? Well, if you look at the people who are achieving longevity and who are living to over 100, start looking at what they're eating and what they're consuming. Most of the time, they're not eating McDonald's, they're not eating drive through and they're eating the right fruits and vegetables to fuel their body, to give them longevity, to be there for their families. Now, these are just two different types of values and they don't have to be yours, but I want you to take the time to work out what your values are and how can health and living a healthy lifestyle help you achieve and work towards what your values are. Number two, educate yourself. I want you to start fueling your mind with as much knowledge as possible for this new way of thinking. Once you've worked out how having a healthy diet is gonna help you in the long run to live out your values, you need to start changing your thought patterns and bringing in new ideas and new methods to how you're gonna sustain this and how you're gonna keep living a healthy lifestyle. And the only way to do that is to educate yourself. The top four documentaries I recommend you check out, the ones I watched when I was studying this journey, are Hungry for Change, Fat Sick Nearly Dead, Food Matters, and Cowspiracy. They're just four documentaries that will give you a great insight on the health and wellness industry and will start building those blocks on a new thought patterns 
for you to start this healthy lifestyle. Number three, this is one of the most easiest things for you to do, but yet it is one of the most common things that as humans, we forget to do. Drink water and lots of it. A minimum of three liters a day is what your body needs to digest, to give you energy, to detoxify the body. So many, so many, so many things come down to just making sure your body is full of water and hydrated. Now, when I say three liters of water a minimum, I'm talking about spring water, alkaline water, not tap water. Tap water is full of chemicals and full of parasites. Two of the main chemicals that get added to most tap water systems is chlorine and fluoride. Now, I could do a whole entire video and I probably will do a whole video on tap water alone, but I want you to take the time to go look up tap water and make the decision for yourself. If you have the resources to get spring water, I recommend adding a pinch of salt, Himalayan salt. There's really good minerals in that and a few slices of lemon to alkalize your water as well. Speaking of water, I've got mine here. Number four, eat whole foods. Now, this is not gonna happen overnight. Your taste buds are gradually gonna change. You're gonna have to relearn how to do your groceries, how to cook with these new foods that don't have packets, and it's gonna take you some time. And with that, start thinking of it as a lifestyle change rather than a diet. So what is a whole food diet? Put simply, if you can't read the word, you can't say the word, if there's numbers next to it, or if it doesn't come from mother nature, don't eat it. Whole food diet is just taking all of the packets, all of the processed food and going back to basics. Over the next few weeks, I will try and do as many videos as I can showing you how to eat a whole food diet that are easy for you to go to the grocery store and cook as well. Number five, the one everyone complains about is exercise. The reason why there's so many people out there telling us to exercise is because you are a human. You were literally built to move. We're given arms, we're given legs to move them. My number one tip with this and to start living a healthy lifestyle is to find a workout, find an activity that moves your body, that works for you and that you enjoy. It doesn't have to be high intensity. It doesn't have to be complicated. It could be as easy as taking the stairs at work rather than taking the lift. It could be taking the dog for a walk after you finish work. It could be doing a yoga workout in front of TV while you're waiting for dinner to cook. All you need to do is find as little as 10 minutes a day when you wake up in the morning, when you go to bed at night, 10 minutes on your lunch break. Just start making time for you to move your body during the day. That's it. They are my five easy steps that you can do today to start moving into a healthy lifestyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to show you everything that I've been filming for the month of April. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, if you have more video requests, I would love to hear from you. I will be back tomorrow with a cooking video and I cannot wait. I'll see you guys then.